Um, a few tips on servicing winches. You'll notice that these are a uh, composite bearing. They don't require grease. So people ask quite a, uh, all the time, where do I put the grease? Do I just take the drum off and, and load it up? Is that servicing the winch? Actually, no. Uh, you don't want to put grease on here. You can use one drop, which will help condition the aluminum a little bit as well as coat the bearing. Uh, winch grease you would use only on the gear teeth and for a, a boat or for a racing boat you might want to have very very little bit of grease on there. You don't want to run them dry or not put anything on there because uh, it may spin better if it's dry but it's going to load up and cause some wear. So always want to have make sure you have winch grease on the gear teeth and also on the gear in the drum, the drive gear or the ring gear of the drum. Um, make sure that the teeth are uh, coated. Pretty simple, we have the drum off. You take off the stripper arm support. You can remove the center shaft, which is the, just what it means. This basically attaches to the handle socket and drives the winch. You can also have an extended bottom for an electric winch, uh, which would be driven from below. Uh, these bearing cages come off. There's a slight lip here to keep the bearing on. So if, if you lift the drum, uh, the bearing races, the uh, bearing cages don't fall over the side. This is a support washer for the uh, ball bearing race inside the drum. Metric gallon head bolts. Those loose. Okay. Take the bolts out. And then you should be able to just lift the housing. This is the center stem or the housing, which uh, contains the bushings that support all the gears. Uh, the center shaft has this bushing to support it. Uh, so, this being aluminum, there's always a plastic bushing to isolate metal from, you never have stainless touching uh, aluminum. Uh, either have a washer between it, or uh, you'll notice these, I guess, uh, composite bushings are pressed inside. The rest of the winch comes apart. Uh, we were talking about putting oil on the winch pawls. These are the pawls, which are basically the ratchets which allow the gear to be attached together in one direction only. If you go in the opposite direction, it'll drive it. So that allows you to free tail uh, the drum and also allows you to change speeds. So as you go to second gear, uh, this gear is no longer attached to the center shaft, it's freewheeling. This is the gear at the bottom. You notice the um, kind of have a, a larger gear and a smaller gear. So the the larger gear is normally uh, the faster gear because as you're turning this, it's got uh, more teeth and it's uh, driving the gear faster. Um, this one would be the second gear, which is allows uh, it's less speed but more power. So that's where you get your gear ratios from is the amount of number of teeth you have here in relation to the gear it's driving. Here's the stainless pin that the drive gear rides on. And you'll notice that this winch has extra roller bearings uh, to reduce friction. And also on the radial winches, all these gears are cut uh, kind of the same, they're a mirrored image of, its, of each other. So all the Paul pockets are, um, have a distinctive design where you can put this gear in either way. So uh, some winches, you could only put the gear in, or you could put the gear in backwards and it would back spin. Uh, the radial winches all have this gear feature where you, can, you don't have to really look at which way it's gonna go together. 
So it makes it a little bit faster and easier to service and takes that problem out of the equation. So you can see the, here's the base uh, with the bushings. It's got a locator pin for the housing. So to reassemble it, you can just put this screw back on. There is a faceted part of this gear post, so it uh, orients it exactly where it needs to be. This gear can go on. Bearings. You just check how the uh, balls are operating, make sure that they're all in good shape, and you don't want grease inside the balls. Put it together, you can just snap it down like that. This gear obviously goes recessed down. Second gear cluster goes on. Here you have metal on metal, you'll want to put some grease right there. This is washer. Okay, everything's in place. And just drop this gear housing down. Make sure it clicks into place. Put the bolts back. What I like to do is put the center shaft in right away. And before you tighten all the bolts, make sure it's turning so that you don't have something out of place and then you can crack it with the when you tighten it down. Another turn once in a while, make sure there's nothing binding. Okay, let's torque these down about hand tight. Okay. Let's perform us get this washer on it. Main bearings. That's good. Once you get the center shaft in, you can get these the support in place, get the screws started. Always check your, your drum that it won't have any broken teeth or anything on it. And you got enough grease on there. Check all that stuff's in place. Drum on and spin it. Okay. This is the li line peeler, just pops in there. The stripper arm always captures the edges of the line peeler. You can position it down. There's little pins that locate the correct position for that. want to get fairly tight. Okay. Cover on and the handle socket. There's a washer inside uh, eight millimeter flathead screw. Uh, you shouldn't have to take that out or do anything to it. Just leave it, inspect it uh, if you need to. Okay, and that's that.